Greetings, programs! I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to my house of love! with a look at Disney's 2010 return to the grid, Tron Legacy. Let's kick it off with a few factoids. I should point out that this movie does change aspects several times since it was originally made for IMAX. With that said, when we last saw Kevin Flynn, he was CEO of the company Encom. This is that story. So rev up your light cycles and try to handle your Zen thing as we delve into Tron Legacy. Meet Sam Flynn. Every inch his father's son, he unleashes Encom's newest OS on the world for free. Come on, come on. Freeze! The ninja hacker compromises the system and then vanishes without a trace. But his escape doesn't go entirely to plan. Damn police brutality. And do you ever get an apology? Oh, the lawsuits I've... I'll spare you the rant. L let's just move on, let's move on. Later, at Sam's Riverside apartment, Alan Bradley drops by with the plot. I was Paige last night. Oh man, still rocking the page. Paige came from your dad's office at the arcade. That number's been disconnected for 20 years. And so we return to Flynn's arcade. Where deep in the bowels, an all new teleportation laser takes him to the grid. Yep, just the cut to black. No freaky dicky transferal sequence with oogly boogly graphics or any of that stuff. I feel cheated. Flynn Jr. is immediately captured and sent to the games. But Sam doesn't take easily to the games. Damn it. Ooh. Nasty? But then again, these are supposed to be battles to the death, so... Who knows? After a creative piece of thinking... Sam faces Rinsler, the Disc Wars champion, who proceeds to thoroughly curve stomp our hack happy hero and draw his blood. User. Outed as a user, Sam is taken to meet the grid's new ruler. Ah, a touching reunion of father and son. Or is it? I'm not your father, Sam. No time to muse on the ramifications of that because now, light cycles! Here we go. The two sides battle until only Sam and Clue remain. She takes Sam to Papa Flynn, and there's your reunion of father and son. And over dinner, we're treated to the history of the new grid. Oh, Flynn was jamming, man. He was going to create the perfect system. But then he discovered the ISOs. 
isomorphic algorithms. Trippy stuff. It like came out of nowhere. Like willed themselves into being real heavy. They were gonna change the world. So what happened? Clue. Long story short, Clue saw the ISOs as imperfect and rebelled. And then he killed all of the ISOs in the Great Purge. But what of Tron? He was last seen defending a fleeing Flynn and is presumed dead. Father and son don't agree on the course of action. It's his game now. The only way to win is not to play. And Sam makes an unscheduled trip back into town to meet an entertaining entrepreneur. Michael Sheen, ladies and gentlemen. This chameleonic thesp has been Tony Blair, Kenneth Williams, and Brian Clough. Impressive, no? Naturally, this flamboyant franchiser betrays Sam. And a fight starts. A fight which is ended by the arrival of Papa Flynn. Now that's what I'm talking about. Some real user power. But Quora lost an arm in the fight. Luckily, Papa Flynn repairs the damage. Remember when I said Clue killed all the ISOs? Well, he missed one. Yes, Quora is the last ISO. Biodigital jazz, man. But all is not well on the solar train, as Clue is building an army to invade our world. Ah! It is our destiny. Papa Flynn commandeers a light plane. Ah, percussive maintenance. For over half a century, the cause of, and solution to, all of technology's woes. And a thrilling battle begins. And so our heroes reach the portal. But they're not out yet. To stop Clue, Kevin Flynn makes the ultimate sacrifice. And so our movie ends back in the real world, with Sam and Quara riding into the sunrise. So then, the question is not whether or not to put it into the House of Love. The question today is, how does Tron Legacy square up against Tron? In the intervening 28 years, much has changed about CGI technology, not least that it has become commonplace in the filmmaking process. CGI animation replaces traditional, digital compositing makes practical effects look indistinguishable from reality, and photorealism is within spitting distance as of July 2012, and yet Tron Legacy seems to lack the heart of its predecessor. The story, young fella thrust into the world ruled by evil overlord, must save the princess slash his father slash everyone, shocking twist at the end, seems to be nothing we haven't seen before, and Bridges surfer god Link could put 90s kid to shame for his use of lingo. No, for all the bells and whistles the intervening quarter century and change have brought us, Tron remains the superior film by a good digital kilometre. That's not to say that Tron is a bad film, oh no. It's entertaining, and it is at least a return to the grid. That wondrous world inside of a computer. Anyway, thanks for watching and join me next week for more fun and frolics. End of line, folks.